start off by prepping our skin with skincare. So I'm going to be using Charlotte Tilbury Skincare, her magic cream, and her magic eye cream because it's skincare for makeup. Um, before you do makeup, also make sure that you prep your skin. Like you have clean skin, you prep it with all the right ingredients and all that good stuff and I'm going to be mixing the flawless filter and the makeup forever HD foundation um this flawless filter is number seven um and I know like soft glam from what I've seen most of it's matte but I do not like a full matte look not all the time like I have my moods but I need a little bit of glow in my skin and the flawless filter basically just helps give that glow to the skin and I will list this foundation color at the um, description box for Makeup Forever HD. And I'm going to take the NARS Concealer in the color Ahmad and Biscuit. Ahmad is going to be just my conceal shade. I like to apply two concealers. Number one, it gives more coverage. Number two, it um, decreases any flashback, you know, from when you highlight underneath your eyes or when you brighten the inner part of your face. And then I'm just going to apply that um, in my T-zone area and then also on acne scarring that I have. So I'm just going to apply it there and then I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender. And I apologize, I keep putting the mirror in my face. I'm trying to fix that habit. I've had that habit for a very long time. Getting better at it. And then now I'm going to take the Biscuit Concealer. This is NARS Creamy Radiate Concealer, by the way. I'm just going to take the shade Biscuit. Now, this concealer looks super light, and you're probably scared to see it in person. But it actually highlights on dark skin girls, black girls, deeper tones really well. It has like a nice warm undertone that is not um, extremely yellow. So it highlights really well. And these concealers blend out seamlessly so you don't have to worry about anything looking patchy or it being a huge difference between your highlighted spots of your face and just like the perimeter. And then I want to go in with the Fenty Matchsticks in the darkest shade. I will list this color down below too. I don't remember the name, but it's the darkest shade. And I'm also using the brush that goes with it. The brush is sold separately, but separately, but it goes with it. And I'm just going to put it in the hollows of my cheeks. And I'm going to just blend it out going downwards. And I also blend it in circular upwards motion. This is the Hourglass. I think it's the Veil Translucent Powder. It's my first time trying it out. So if you love a clean line that's vegan, completely clean, it, uh, the powder is also talc free. It has no talc in this powder whatsoever. Like Hourglass is super clean. And I'm just going to apply this in the places where I did that lighter concealer. This is going to help set and also give a boost to the brightening. And um... I'm using the Laura Mercier. This is a blush brush, but it works for multi purposes. So, yeah, the powder is good. Um, I would say apply a little bit less. Be light handed with this powder if you are a darker skin tone. I was kind of heavy handed with it, but it gives a nice brightening effect under the eye. I'm just going to take the Fenty, Fenty, oh, I cannot talk. Fenty Mocha Mommy Bronzer Shade, like the perfect bronzer shade for black girls. And I'm just going to bronze and go over my contour. I did set my eyes with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn in translucent powder. And I'm just going to take Brow Script by MAC. I've had the shadow for years, y'all. This is like an OG transition color. You can never go wrong with this color. I'm going to take Brown Script. And I'm trying to use less products and make makeup look super minimal. Because that's like something everybody wants. So I'm just going to be using a couple eyeshadows to achieve this soft glam look. And I am using, as once again, soft brown. No, sorry. What is it called? It's. Brown script, sorry. Brown script by MAC. And I'm just going to blend it out lightly. When you're blending out your shadows, have a light weight and like a light grip on your brush. And kind of blend in a triangular upper motion. I'm just going to take this Melt Stacks and I'm just going to use the darker brown shade. We're only going to use the two shades I showed on the camera. And I'm just going in the crease 
with this shade and then to deepen it i'm going to go in with a more denser flat brush but it's fluffy it's from sigma i think it's the e40 if i'm not mistaken and i'm just going to go in and define the eyes and make it a little bit more smokier but not too harsh because it's supposed to be soft right Now I'm going to take that other shade, it's like, um, I don't want to say it's a satin, but it's like a really creamy shimmer shade, and it's the second shade in the, um, the stacks, and I'm going to apply it with a MAC 195 brush, you can also apply with your fingers too, but I'm just going to apply it with a MAC 195 flat brush, this brush, brush, this brush, ooh, I cannot talk, this brush gets really good on the crease, uh, uh, the lid, the lid. And I'm going to take this pigment. I've had this pigment for years. It's the Tan Pigment, and it's from MAC. It's like one of my favorite go-to shadows when I want something soft. So that's why I chose this one, and it just looks good on everybody. And I'm going to take this brush. It's a clean. I think it's clean. I'm not sure. I'm not, hmm. I want to take this brush, and I'm just going to go over it and just blend it out. Now I'm going to take this Morphe brush. It's tapered but it's super great for underneath the eyes and I'm just going to do what I did to my eyes to the bottom do not neglect your bottom lash line um and then later off on the camera I'm going to apply a liner in the waterline I should have used Max Teddy because it was a little bit more softer but I end up using Charlotte Tilbury's Barbarella Brown which I will show and I'm going to mix these two blushes from MAC um, and I'm going to apply them on my cheeks. I will list them down below because I do not know the names of these blushes. But I'm mixing those two. I'm going to use a tapered brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to apply them to the apples of my cheeks. These are the Lily Lashes. These are like her faux lashes. And they're in the style Houston. I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara by Chanel La Valium right before I put the lashes on. And I apply my lashes off camera. Well... For the most part. This is right here. I was kind of like measuring it I think. But I applied them off camera. I'm going to take Charlotte Tillsbury. Um, this is her Pillow Talk Intense Number 3 Liner. It's new. You know she's coming out with deeper shades. Um, this is her lip cheeks. Her lip cheeks are waterproof and they're creamy. So it's really easy to line your lips. I recommend them. And this one is a number 3. And this color is A Girl Got Me. I think it's from the Nicki Minaj collection when she had all those new lipsticks. And I'm just going to mix a little bit with Verve. You can keep it like this. I feel like I should have kept it like this. But then I just wanted to mix Verve with it. It was a little bit too ashy for me. So, yeah. Blend. And we're finished. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to click the bell to get notified when I upload.